So we're going to look at a problem that's traditionally solved using algebra, but we will use pictures to solve the problem. Let's go ahead and read the question. Jimmy asked, Sam, how old are you? Sam replied, exactly 10 years from today, I will be two and a half times as old as I was exactly five years ago. How old is Sam today? So that's our problem. It can be solved using algebra, but I will try to use pictures to solve the problem. Basically pictures can be looked at as if they're variables. So give the problem a shot. See if you can solve the problem on your own. On your own. If you cannot solve the problem, the solution follows. For me in mathematics, especially when it comes to solving problems, half the battle is understanding the question and you have to really read the question several times to make sure you absolutely understand what the question is trying to ask and what are some of the facts that are given. So let's see if we can agree with a couple of things. So we're only talking about Sam's age and Sam is claiming five years ago he was of course younger than what he would be ten years later not only that, we are being told that five years ago he was younger and ten years from today he was two and a half times as old. So this longer strip is two and a half times the shorter strip. Two and a half times. Two and a half. and that's very important. What do we mean by two and a half? Two and a half means, let's erase all that, two and a half means this. This length is two times this length plus half times this length. This is one time, then two times, one times this is this, two times this is gonna be this, two and a half times would be this is same as this, this is same as this, and this piece is half of this. You absolutely have to understand what that means. Two and a half times. Two and a half times something means the if the shorter piece is one unit, the taller piece has to be 2.5 units. Now you want to pause the video here and make sure you get that. If you don't get it, you won't be able to follow the solution. So essentially what I have here is, is an explanation of the fact that the taller unit, the age 10 years later, is two and a half times the age of Sam five years ago. And another important thing is that this length which is outside the two units is exactly half of this, is exactly half of this, is exactly half of this. This is two and this is half. That's what we mean by two and a half. Having said that, we do know one more thing, that the time lapse between five years ago and ten years from today is fifteen years. So this difference, I'm going to change my color, this difference in the two ages has to be 15. Another important key fact, this has to be 15 years. Why? Because five years ago, whatever Sam, however old Sam was, 10 years from today, he will be 15 years older than his age five years ago. Now, having said that, that, that's a very important point. And what else can I say? Or how else can I use it? Now, take a look at this. We just concluded that this piece is half of this piece. It's also half of this piece. It's also half of this piece. And these three pieces are the same size. If this is one unit, this is one unit, this is one unit, this is half unit. So, how can we split 15 into three equal pieces? 
if I cut this into two halves, all these pieces, I'm going to try pink now. Let me actually get rid of these dots, they're distracting. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut this into two equal pieces, and I have this is same as this is same as this. If this whole thing is 15, this has to be 5, this has to be 5, this has to be 5. 5, this has to be 5, and this has to be 5. That tells me this is 10, because 5 plus 5 is 10. This is also 10. 10. Now we have a lot of facts. We are almost done. But the question says, how old is Sam today? Well, that's not too difficult. If five years ago Sam was 10, Sam has to be 15 today. So if five years ago he was 10, he has to be 15. So the answer is 15. Let's do it in blue. Sam is 15 years old. That's our answer.